Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I am the Style Coach. We're back today with another video and this one is in relation to color. I wanna start doing other videos that are, you know, to do with what else I do because I, I don't just do color analysis. I also do body shape, style, personality, general style refinement for individuals who are feeling a bit lost in their style, the confidence is low. So I work with people one-to-one -one, online, in person. I also have online courses as well. You can check them all out down below. I'll leave all the information there for you. If you're new to this channel, you are most welcome. If you like what you see today and you've learned something new, I kindly ask that you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content just like this. And of course, to those of you who are long time or short time subscribers, thank you very much and welcome back to you. If you'd like to support this channel in another way, you can also do super thanks. So you can support this channel in a monetary way, uh, which means I can continue to produce content just like this because it is my full-time job to be in this role. Uh, so I always appreciate it. And I know many of you share super thanks with me and I'm always so grateful. Uh, I really am, so thank you very much. Now let's get into today's video. This is something that I've been asked and something that has popped up time and time again because I often work with uh, multi-generational clients. So uh, most often, not always, it's mother-daughter uh, combination, but I've also worked with an entire family of six people, which is really interesting. Um, so. I am basing this information on, well, it's <laughs> my own experience, which is um, many years and many, many, many clients, and also a little bit of science. <laughs> Who can argue with science? Well, we won't get into that. <laughs> so the question I want to answer today is, do you inherit your parents' color palette or even the season? Let's make it a little bit more general, the season. Or we could also say, uh, do I pass my color palette? Let's say you're a parent. Uh, do I pass that color palette on to my child? Do they have the same color palette as me? Well, I'm gonna answer that here for you today. So first of all, I'm gonna take myself as uh, an example and my family. So it turns out <laughs> that all of us in my family, I'm talking about my two sisters and my brother and my mom and dad, we're all winters. Okay, so uh, you might think, you might look at us and go, you know what, yeah, colour palettes absolutely run in the family. And you'd be quite right if you took me as an example. Is that true all the time? Well, no, it's not. And I know many of you will agree with this, agree with what I'm saying. And by the way, share your examples. Have you and a parent or you and a daughter or a son, have you got um, color consultations done? Have you turned, or even your siblings. I've, I've worked with siblings who have been vastly different, same parents, <laughs> okay? So we're assuming here that we're talking about people who have the same biological parents. Let's make that clear. So let me know your experience in terms of uh, your relatives um, and how alike or uh, unlike you are to each other in your color palettes. So why is it that some families are, you know, all winters and the same season and then other families are uh, vastly different in their appearance? Well, it turns out that if you were to take my parents as an example, um, they both have dark hair, dark eyes, similar skin color. So they were likely to produce something similar, right? Uh, which it turns out they did. My All my brothers and sisters have dark hair, dark eyes and fair skin. So that was kind of, um, you know, expected, I suppose. <laughs> But as many of you will know, you may have heard about this thing called the recessive gene. So the recessive gene is a part of your uh, DNA, your genetic makeup, that is unlikely to be expressed. So let's say um, both parents had blue eyes, but yet their child came out with uh, green eyes or brown eyes or different colored eyes. And this may be a case of uh, seeing a recessive gene that has skipped a few generations. 
Have you ever seen that before where you um, all of a sudden have somebody with red hair in the family and you would think, where do they come from? And keeping in mind the biological parents are the same, I wanna stress that. Um, but it, it can be the case that you have these recessive genes that have been uh, dormant or not expressed uh, in uh, the last generation or the last couple of generations and all of a sudden you have this uh, child with quite different looking features. And I've seen this quite a lot when working with siblings, working with um, parents and a child or parents and a young adult, I suppose, or um, different generations. So people can look very, very different, but be part of the same family. So therefore, it is not a case where you can say, you know what, I've had my color analysis done. Uh, I know I'm a winter. Uh, I'm looking at my child and I'm just gonna dress them also in winter clothes. Unfortunately, that's not the way it works always. We also have this other element where we have two parents that are uh, very different in their features. Perhaps their skin tone is different. They've got different eye color, they've got different hair color. They're going to produce a baby that may take on more features of one parent than the other. So again, it's this case of a parent's palette doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to be your child's palette either. Can we ask an even broader question? Like if you have cool undertones or warm undertones, is your child going to have the same undertone? And even at that, no is the answer your child can have a very different undertone, your brother or sister can have a very different undertone to you. So um, try not to assume, because we all know what assuming does, um, try not to assume that because you're related to somebody, I, I don't need to do my color analysis um, and nobody has to do it, but if you're into it, you know, uh, don't don't assume that you're going to be the same color palette, and um, it, it, you can turn out to be vastly different. Me, however, I can borrow my siblings' clothes pretty easily because <laughs> we're all winters, uh, so that's that worked out pretty handy. But as many of you will know, that's not the case for everybody, and your wardrobes could be an autumn for one sibling and a winter for another or a spring or a summer. So there you go, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it or learned something new, please give it the thumbs up and I will see you again next week for another video. Take care everybody, bye bye.